It's time to... Dragons are one of the most popular archetypes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. You got blue eyes, you got red eyes, you got thousand eyes, you got baby dragon. But with such a popular archetype, they had to come out with the slayer of all dragons, the one and only Buster Blader. Buster Blader was one of the most badass cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. This guy was designed to just beat dragon's ass, and that's why he has a fusion card literally called the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. This guy's a monster. He shuts down dragons. Dragons, and if I don't duel a dragon, I'll just turn these little idiots into dragons. Have you hit the like button yet? Or are you built stupid? I appreciate you being here. Yeah, let's start. All right, our first matchup, we're up against Gunter. Look at little Gunter, little bunny. Ooh, I get to go first. I'm gonna go first, bro. A lot of people have been asking for like my deck lists and stuff like that. And um, no, I know that's an unpopular thing to say because a lot of people in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, like it's normal, share your deck list, blah, blah, blah. I'm cut from a different cloth, bro. I make all my decks from scratch. The most beautiful thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion, let me just start with uh, Upstart Goblin. This, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna give him a thousand life points, but then I'm gonna draw a card. He has an Ash Blossom in his, in his hand. If you don't know what Ash Blossom does, it'll uh, negate a card. So I'm gonna try to bait that out. But yeah, man, growing up, part of the fun of Yu-Gi-Oh was just crafting your own deck. Like. We didn't have money. We didn't have like uh, the internet to like get whatever card we want. I mean, I'm not that fucking old, but you know, internet wasn't as popular. Amazon wasn't really a big thing at the time. So if we wanted cards, we had to go to the shop. We had to get packs and then whatever freaking thing we could put together with those random cards we put together. So do the same, man. All right, starting with Black Metal Dragon is actually really strong for this deck because I can play Black Metal Dragon and then I can <clears throat> Linku summon. I can get rid of my Black Metal Dragon and then Link summon this Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon has no purpose in this deck other than to send Black Metal Dragon to the graveyard. Now I can pop this effect. If he lets me, he has something in his hand. He's debating on whether he wants to use it or not. Ooh, Infinite Impermanence? I told you, bro. Okay, so what he just did is negate my Striker Dragon's effects. I told you, what did I just say? Tri Striker Dragon is literally here just to be used as fodder. All right, now I can play my Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Go! Ah! Now I can activate his little effect. And then we're gonna special summon this baby or black metal dragon from the graveyard. And now, dang, and we got a DNA surgery in our hand. Okay, so the beauty of Buster Blader is, in the old days, it was like, okay, Buster Blader is good against the dragon matchup. But this Buster Blader deck is good against anything. Good against anyone. Look at this, Linku Summon Protector Whelp. These are my whelps. Activate this guy's effect. And then activate this. I'm glad he used his infinite impermanence already. Because now he can't negate this thing's effect unless you have another one. Does this son of a gun have another one? He has something else in his hand that can negate. Out with it, Gunter. Gunter, what the? What you got in your hand, bro? I'd be. All right, I, I guess we'll just wait. I'll wait like a substitute teacher. There it is. Okay, Ash Blossom. Gonna negate my Protector Whelp, which actually does kind of suck. Oh, you're negating Black Metal Drag. Oh, thank God. It's because of the way I chained it. So even if he um wanted to, he wouldn't have been able to. And then I think I'll be able to special summon this Buster Blader. So, all right. So we're gonna grab this Dragon Buster Destruction. I sent it to the grave. Okay, I messed up. I did mess up, but that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make this work. It was a very minor mistake. Basically, I was supposed to send something else to the graveyard. So I'm going to have to actually utilize my Monster Reborn now just because I messed up what I was trying to do. Okay. And what I'll grab is this. Monster Reborn. And I can special summon this fella onto the field. And now it's time. I don't care whether you're playing dragons or not. Buster Dragon's on his way to make all of your monsters dragons. Synchro Summon. Accessing the mainframe. Buster Dragon's effect activates, brother. I can special summon a Buster Blader from my deck. Ah! All right. So the one thing I messed up on is I was supposed to send a specific trap card to my graveyard, and that would have let me uh, fusion summon here in a bit. But uh, I didn't do that. But that's fine. I still like this starting little situation. I just won't be able to negate all of his stuff. But he used two cards out of his hand and they were both just negates and neither of them did anything. So <laughs> let's see what he does. Uh, What the hell that? What the, what, what, what you got there, bro? Tri-Brigade? 
Ah, wah. Tri brigades are uh, pretty scary, but I'm going to activate Buster Dragon's effect. So during my opponent's turn, I can equip one of my whelps from the graveyard onto my Buster Blader. And the reason why this is a big deal is you'll see here in a second, unless he negates it. What are you up to, bro? All right, he doesn't do anything. So this is going to resolve. Now I can add my Buster Dragon, whatever the fuck name this is. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. When this is equipped onto my Buster Blader, he can't summon anything from his extra deck. So despite the fact this is a Tri-Brigade deck, I don't know how good it is uh, if they can't summon anything out of their extra deck over there. This guy is taking forever. What the hell is this? Forbidden Droplet. Send any number of cards from your hand to the graveyard. Choose that many effect monsters your opponent controls. And all right, this is a long, bro, I ain't reading all that. Okay, so long story short, you're gonna have my attack point. I'm just curious if you think, <laughs> I don't know if you just, thought I gave a fuck because the beauty of this is like even though he's weaker now every card he plays I'm not mistaken oh wait my effects are negated as well okay but he can't summon anything out of his extra deck and I think he's about to find that out <laughs> I think I think he's about to notice I have a feeling this is going to be a surrender ladies and fellows man I just locked him down he can't summon anything out of his extra deck there it is Craft your own adventures, ladies and fellows, men, and get you some dubs. I'm gonna find some more dragons and proceed to fu mess them up. All right, we're up against Gabobo. Bro, I feel like everyone I run into with this little icon with the little goblin face right there is scary. Like they they do they do stuff that bodies me. And I feel like this is gonna be one of those people, especially considering he had the little platinum out outline on his uh little icon. And he's going first, so we're probably gonna sit here for a while and watch his moves. Let's just see what archetype he's playing. What in the fuck? Astral Karibo. Reveal one number exceed monster. All right, I ain't reading the rest of that. Okay, so Astral Karibo, it does some, it does something. We got a Karibo archetype? What? Look at Karibe. He look, he look dirty. I don't know what's about to happen, but I think I respect this guy because I've never seen a Karibo archetype played. Maybe I should read these, man. I don't know what they do. Okay. Okay. What the lion heart? End phase. What okay, what did you just do? Okay. Um I'm a little scared just because I have no idea what I'm up against right now. This face up attack position cannot uh be destroyed by battle. Okay, so I can't destroy this loser by battle. When you take battle damage uh from battles involving this card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the map. Okay, so this is like Amazon as Swordswoman, uh, which is a card that you take the damage for the for the battles that it has so if i attack this thing for a thousand damage or whatever i'll take that damage Ooh, but i have an idea you know what i'm gonna play it a little safe all right so here are my options i could special summon my big i beat dragons asses swordsman man uh and then dna surgery to negate his effects but that doesn't get rid of him Oh, I know what I'll do. Oh, okay. It's so obvious. I have DNA surgery. I have the perfect recipe. Why was I even thinking, bro? Am I am I built dumb or something? Don't answer that question. I end my turn. So now that he's in battle phase, this is what I'll do. I activate DNA surgery. All of your monsters become dragons. <laughs> That's not all. Now I'll activate destruction swordsman. Fusion. Whatever the rest of it is. And I contribute your monster because it's now a dragon, along with my Buster Blader, to summon the Great One, the powerful Buster Blader, the Dragon. <laughs> so, one of the issues with uh, this Buster Blader, the Dragon to Swordsman, whatever card, is the fact that he can't attack directly. But, ladies and fellows, man, I got something about that. I got something to do for that. First, I'll play my Buster Destruction, yeah, whatever, okay, etc. And now, mm, mm, I'll tribute both of these Dragon Buster Destruction, etc. Destruction Swords to Link who summon my Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. Activate its effect. Now I can send one of these cards to the graveyard. And I'm going to opt to send, uh, which one? Let's send this to the graveyard. You'll see why later, but uh, long story short, I can fusion summon stuff from my graveyard, okay? And now I'll special summon my Buster Blader. I'm liking this, I'm liking this so far. So 
Go into battle phase. First, I'm going to attack with my little bitty protector. Whelp. What did you just do? Uh, when a monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target any number of Karibo monsters from your graveyard and special summon them. That's beautiful. Do you understand what you're going to just what you're going to do to yourself? Do you understand what you're about to do to yourself? You're about to summon dragons onto the field. When I have my Buster Blader, they all gain attack points. And now I flip them all to defense mode. You're a fool. And now you gonna hold all this damage. <laughs> ah! Did you think it was over? Now I'll activate my destruction sword, whatever the rest of that is. From my graveyard to banish the materials needed to special summon yet another powerful Buster Blade of the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. And I attack you. Ah! I promise I'm not a villain, but nip 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 Did you hit the like button yet? All right. Up next, this deck has been, bro, this is my favorite deck to use at the moment. I know some people are waiting on me to do that deck with all three Egyptian gods in it, but I'm a little tuckered out on the Egyptian god video, so I'll do that eventually. Uh, but for now, I'm just slaying dragons. And I haven't bricked yet, so I mean, did I brick? Because this is looking a little interesting. This is looking a little suspect. This is looking a little bit suspect of a hand. All right, I got cooked. I bricked. Um, shit happens. I'm sad, but now I have to leave on a good note. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna get a dub. <sighs> Please. All right, Rockstar, are you gonna let me go first or second? Better let me go first. I dare you to let me go. Hope you enjoyed, but now you're not gonna be able to play because I have the confidence to believe I'm gonna draw the best starting hand of all time. Let's go. This will work. Not the best starting hand of all time, but this will work. Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer. This allows me to add one Buster Blader from my deck or graveyard to my hand. You are gonna ask Blossom me. I didn't know we were being racist today, but now I understand. Just kidding. Ah! I activate my quick play spell called by the grave. Now I can banish your Ash Blossom and ignore its effects. So this negates the Ash Blossom effect. So now I get to successfully use my Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer. All right. Now, I'll play Buster Whale. This will allow me to add any destruction sword card from my deck to the hand. Yes. The reason is because now I contribute my Buster Whelp and use its effect to special summon from my hand my Buster Blader. Ah! And now I can activate my Dragon Buster Destruction Sword effect from my hand and equip it to my Buster Blader. That's not all. Now I can activate this effect and special summon this. And this little guy is a tuner. And do you know what a tuner does? It allows me to synchro summon. And do you know what I'm going to synchro summon? I'm going to synchro summon the great one, the powerful Buster Dragon. Now I can activate my Buster Dragon's effect. Damn, I'm activating effects out here a special summon buster blader in attack mode and i play a face down card and i end my turn i'm gonna activate my buster dragon's effect buster dragon allows me to equip my buster blader card with a little bitty whale from the graveyard and i'm going to opt for my dragon buster destruction sword and when this card is equipped onto my buster blader you cannot special summon from your extra deck. So you better beat me from your regular deck. Ooh, and it's an elemental hero deck. Wait, that's bad. Oh wait, no, it's not. I was gonna say it's bad because the card he got, I think can destroy my spell cards. So elemental heroes, if you don't know about them, which I'm sure everyone who's watching this video does, but in case you don't, they uh, primarily use fusion summons. So what I just did is pretty detrimental for him. All right, I'm gonna activate this trap. I can discard a destruction sword card, special summon a buster blader from my deck, which was this guy. And now, you just couldn't script it to be better. You just couldn't script it to be better. I'm gonna activate this effect. When it's, a, a, when it's an equip spell, I can special summon it to my field. And now that it's special summoned to the field, 
I'm gonna play Destruction Swordsman Fusion to special summon my boss monster, the beast, the monster, the Skaflanny, the Ganani, the one and only Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Ah! Did you think that was all? Because it's not. I could activate this. I'm not gonna do it yet. I just want you to know I could. And now. I'm going to attack your face down card. Ah, take that piercing damage. That's not all. <laughs> My Buster Blader effect activates. I can target a card that was destroyed and equip it to my Buster Blader. Hmm, but not before he activates his effect. What the fuck does this do? This card is sent to the area, add one hero monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, so he's gonna, he's gonna add a little hero monster to his hand, but will it be enough to save him? Doubtful, nip, nip, nip. And now I attack you directly with my Buster Blader. Ah! Hold on that damage. Now I'm gonna end my turn. The reason why I'm gonna do it like this is you'll see. And by you'll see, I'm going to explain right now. So Buster Dragon has an effect where during his turn, I can equip my Buster Blader with... See, that's, that's what this effect is prompting me for. But I can equip my Buster Blader with this Dragon Destroyer, what, Dragon... They all have such weird names. The, the motherfucker who prevents him from playing stuff from his extra deck. I should actually probably do that now. What does this do? What'd you just do? What are you up to? Whatever you're about to special summon is gonna be negated because you are a dragon, whether you wanna be a dragon or not. Go to defense position and don't look at me crazy again. I'm just gonna activate this now. You get no extra deck summons. I'm sorry. And by I'm sorry, I mean deal with it. Hmm, sorry, you don't get effects either. Bro, summon all the cards you want. Wait, what'd that do? Oh, add one dark fusion. He didn't read this. He didn't read. He must not have read this effect because he's gonna get that fusion card, find out he can't use it, and then he's gonna surrender. This is my prediction. This would be so petty. <laughs> Should I be petty? <laughs> you want some life points? <laughs> All right, let's finish this. Uh, I attack this and uh, win. Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for the Buster Blader. Again, man, when it comes to creating your own decks, the most beautiful thing in Yu-Gi-Oh is crafting something unique to you. Do you think Yugi in the anime just went up and looked online for deck lists? Do you think Joey Wheeler with this freaking whatever he was playing with all monster cards. Obviously, he didn't look anything up. Even Kaiba, bro. That guy had all the money in the world, but didn't look up deck list. He just threw his blue eyes in there and was like, I'm gonna beat your ass, all right? That's how I want to approach Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what I'm gonna start bringing forth. So this was my deck list. I mean, if you get glimpses of how to put it together, use that as inspiration and then create your own thing. Craft your own destiny. And so everyone asking for those Egyptian God decks, no, but um, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support. Let me know what archetype you want me to check out next. Actually, I have a few ideas that I'm going to do without you telling me what to do. So just stay tuned and I'll try to make Master Duel way more consistent because I see how much you guys love it. Anyway, did I say bye yet? Oh, no. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>